G'day and kia ora. this is the Antec Gamer, also known as Angelite85, and welcome back to the Antec Gaming Channel. Do not forget to hit that like button with a slap on the back if you like this video, and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with all the goings on and content that I bring from week to week. Now this video is going out in uh, the middle of the week just because I, um, I made a mistake in my last video, the one with the Project Scorpio, I mentioned that with the 6 teraflop GPU, which will have 320 gigabyte per second memory bandwidth and the 8 core CPU, will achieve 4K 60 frames. No. I've done, in the days since actually putting that video out, I have done some more digging into what actually would make a PC capable of 4K 60 frames? The answer was like two GTX 1070s or two GTX 1080s. Now that came as a shock because those two cards are two of the most powerful cards currently available on the market. With the 1080 absolutely butt munching everything, just absolutely nailing everything to the wall. Uh, I mean, a 9 teraflop GPU, 8 gig of GDDR5X memory, 320 gigabyte per second memory bandwidth on that puppy. And even it cannot do very high 60 frame 4K stable. So I am going to retract the statement I made. I, I made a whoopsie. I didn't del uh, delve deep enough into the what would be required for 4k at 60 frames stable uh, without having shitty textures so because what's the point of having this really nice resolution and your textures look like ass so i one apologize for bringing misleading and incorrect information it, it, the project scorpio box console -y thing is not going to do 4k native 60 frames it will possibly do 4k native 30 frames quite comfortably from the looks at a at the equivalent of a high uh, graphics quality with the equivalent of what we would have on a pc high to maybe very high graphic fidelity uh that is certainly in the in, in its capability i mean the GTX 1070 is actually capable of, from what looks to be a 30 frame, um, a 30 frames, stable ish, um, at high high to very high. So there is a possibility that the Project Scorpio will do 4K native, just just not at 60 frames. It, it's not going to be able to do it. I all you console all you xbox microsoft fanboys out there you guys need to go out and you need to do what i did and go out and actually look up what is required to get 4k 60 frames stable on a pc because if pcs can't do it there is no way in hell that the x the project scorpio is going to be able to do the same thing that is why we are you know, it's why we know that PlayStation Pro that comes out November 11th will not do 4K native. It is 4K upscale. So it's 1080 and upscaled. It'll do 1080, 60 frames without without a problem. But it will not do 4K. It, it, it wouldn't, like, I mean, uh, it, it just can't. The 10 set, you know, when something like the GTX 1070 can't do it, with its 6.5 teraflops and 256 gigabyte per second memory bandwidth, then you know, sure as hell know that the the Project Scorpio is not going to be able to do it. When the GTX 1080 with 9 teraflops and 320 gigabytes per second memory bandwidth cannot do stable 60 frames, 4K under high, very high settings on a pc across the board even older games probably not an issue graphic you know but games like battlefield 4 with battlefield 1 coming out games like rise of the tomb raider uh under normal 
load under so uh, no overclocking on the GTX 1080, it runs a average 46 frames per second of roundabouts on both Battlefield 4 and Rise of the Tomb Raider. So, so straight up, so as I said, I want to say sorry to those that viewed that video. Um, this one here, uh, yeah. Everything else in it is still relevant. I'm not going to go through and do any editing on it. Um, but suffice to say that the, I, I made a boo-boo. I did a, a what would be referred to as a console peasantry kind of thing. Uh, that wasn't my intention. I was going off information that I had gathered myself. I didn't delve deep enough into the rabbit hole on that and for that i am truly sorry it was a mistake i'm rectifying that now the project scorpio will not do 4k 60 frames native it will be able to do 4k true 4k it will still do 4k native and is capable of that but it will more than likely be 30 frames it will not uh, uh, 30 frames stable if we're going to look at and then it may even drop frames depending on the game's uh, graphical content and settings so uh, yeah I, I've been the Anzac Gamer also known as Angel885 as I said in the beginning of the video if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you at the next video, which, uh, here's a little teaser. That video will be coming Friday. And so, yeah. Bye for now.